What's up with it Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Honcho and I'm back with a brand new video for you. Alright guys, get right into it. You already know the vibes. You already know what type of time I'm on. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, well damn, subscribe to the channel. Also hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, both at Raider Honcho. Don't forget to check out RaiderHoncho.com and pick you up some of that merch. And just in case you're wondering, yeah, we still working on the tsunamis, okay? You already know what it is, okay? But today I wanted to talk about wide receivers in the free agent market that are not named Devontae Adams. Now look, understand me what I'm saying. Hear me clearly. If we can get Devontae Adams, of course, I'm on board with that. Of course, I would love to see him team up with Derek Carr. But there are some quality receivers out there that I think that we could probably spend half the money on, bring them in here, and get the production that we need. Because at the end of the day, the Raiders aren't a superstar wide receiver away from winning the Super Bowl, in my opinion. We're a couple pieces away, especially on that defensive side of the ball. So um, I think that we can't just put all our eggs in one basket and go get one player. We're going to need to get a plethora of players in this offseason. But let me give you a couple names. I'm going to give you my top five. I'm going to give you my top five wide receivers that I think the Raiders should pursue this offseason. And then I'm going to give you two, two honorable mentions. So this is going to be like my power rankings. And then I'll give you two honorable mentions, okay? So right off the bat, number five is going to be Michael Gallup, okay? Like, Michael Gallup is not going to be that expensive. Um, he's a guy that we have got some production, that, that Dallas did get some production out of. I think he only saw nine games last year. Probably was dealing with injuries and stuff like that. But to me, this is a guy that has a lot of upside. And I don't believe that you're going to have to break the bank in order to get him. And I just feel like for the Raiders, we need wide receivers that are going to help us in certain situations, okay? You talk about stretching the field. You talk about red zone. That's the things I'm talking about. I'm not talking about guys who can just catch passes here and there and stuff like that. We don't need another Zay Jones, right? We need people that can make plays. So I think Michael Gallup is on the list at number five. When we go to number four, I'm going to take it to Allen Robinson. And I know Allen Robinson is a guy that you guys are super high on. Rightfully so, but I think Allen Robinson is probably a year or two too late for the Raiders. I think if we got him two years ago, maybe even last year, it would have been a different story. But for me, even though he's good, I feel like he's going to be kind of coming down eventually. And I feel like it would be the Raiders' luck that we finally go get a guy like Allen Robinson and he's coming on the way down. And I don't want to see that happen. Uh, so Allen Robinson is number four on that list. Now, the top three get a little tricky based on who you guys like and who you guys don't like. But for my money, for my money, number three is going to be Christian Kirk. Christian Kirk is a guy that I, I love. His deep threat presence, his ability to, to catch jump balls, his ability to track the ball while it's in the air, something we know that Zay Jones doesn't do well. But the ability to track the ball in the air, I mean, Kyler Murray kind of could just throw it up to him in space and he can go get it. Uh, you talk about a guy that has 77 catches, 982 yards, and five touchdowns last year. Christian Kirk will be the perfect, perfect alternative to Zay Jones. I don't care what anybody says. You talk about Hunter Renfro being in there, you talk about Darren Wilder, you go draft you a young wide receiver, and then you put in there Christian Kirk. 77 catches, 982 yards, five touchdowns. I'll take that. I'll take that. Number two, I'm going to go with Chris Godwin. Chris Godwin is a guy that obviously is super productive. He's a little more expensive than some of the other names that I talked about, but when you talk about talent, we talk about upside, talk about youth. I think he's only 26 years old. Chris Guy won't be a great fit for us, especially uh, coming off the injury. We might be able to, to knock that price down a little bit. I think Chris Guy won't be a, a, a plus for us. We would definitely benefit from that. Uh, Derek Carr hasn't had a receiver quite as dynamic as Chris Godwin. I would love to see him in the silver and black. And my number one target for this offseason for the Raiders as a wide receiver, not named Devontae Adams, would be DJ Chark. Okay, now, whether it's Chark, Chalk, Chalk him out, Shark, whatever you want to call it, boy, DJ Shark should be a Raider. And I know it might take a little more to get him, and it's probably not likely that the Raiders do get him. I think he might be in the market for Philadelphia or something like that, but I, I just love DJ Shark's game. I love the upside. I love the, 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 the catch radius. I love the height. I love everything he brings to the table. I mean, the boy is tall as hell. still runs like 4'3". And this is a guy you can throw the ball up to. You can go get it. But this is also a guy that would help us in the red zone. So DJ Shark is my number one guy. Now, when you talk about honorable mentions and you talk about red zones, I wouldn't be remiss if I didn't mention Mike Williams. Mike Williams, I know he plays for those chumps over there in Charger land. But... 
Mike Williams is a guy, 76, or seven, 76 receptions, 900 yards, 9 touchdowns. This is a guy that you can throw the ball up to from the 6-yard line and give you an honest effort that you might come down with 6 points. The Raiders don't actually have a guy on the roster like that outside of Darren Waller, but Darren Waller is not a wide receiver. He's a tight end. Now imagine if you had Darren Waller on one side and had Mike Williams on the other side, Renfro in the slot. You could do some damage out there in the red zone. And I think that he would be somebody that we could definitely look for in free agency and, and bring him in just to help with the red zone. If nothing else, I do feel like he drops a lot of passes. But in the red zone, I throw it up to him four straight times. The odds are he's going to come down with at least one of them. Uh, and then a name nobody's really talking about. And there might be some reason for that. I'm going to go with Jacoby Myers, okay? Jacoby Myers sounds like a damn lawyer. I'm pretty sure Jacoby and Myers used to be a commercial all the time when I was a kid. When I used to cut school, I used to see that damn commercial all the time. A bunch of old white dudes talking about <coughs> Jacoby and Myers. Uh, but Jacoby Myers got 83 receptions, 866 yards, two touchdowns uh, for the Patriots. And I just think Derek Carr is better than the Patriots quarterback. So if he put those numbers up with him, imagine he would do with us. And this is a guy you're going to get super cheap. This is a guy that's not going to cost you a lot of money at all. Uh, he's not the one. He's not like a big play guy where you're just going to just just like get super value when it comes to downfield stuff. But when you're talking about 83 receptions, 900 yards, I mean, damn, the boy, the boy was standing out. And I just think if the Raiders don't want to break the bank and they do want to bring in uh, somebody to compete with Brian Edwards, bring in somebody that's going to compete with Zay Jones and also draft the young guy, I can see Jacoby Myers being a good fit for the Raiders. So those are my seven guys that I think the Raiders should pursue in this offseason. You can get down in the comments. Let me know what you think. And look, like I said, this is not about the Devontae Adams. Of course, I would rather have Devontae Adams and all these names, but when you talk about the price tag, we can get two guys for that price. And I think if you can get two of these guys and draft a young guy, bring them along the way to compete with Brian Edwards and compete with Zay Jones, I think the Raiders are better for it. So get down in the comments, let me know what you think. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, both at Raider Honcho. If you like the video, like the video. If you like the content on this channel, please subscribe to this channel. And until the next time, as always, still spinning Raider Honcho out.